So you might have seen in the news last week that Prada and a space company called Axiom Space unveiled a new spacesuit. Now this isn't just any spacesuit. This is the spacesuit that humans are going to wear when they return to the moon in a few years. I actually got to be there at the unveiling in Milan and it was beautiful to see in person. But the reveal wasn't necessarily met with all good vibes. While there were a lot of people talking about how cool it was, there were an equal amount, if not more people, criticizing it, as well as NASA's plans to go back to the moon in general. Now, I'm an expert on the space industry, particularly the business and marketing side, and I have a background in engineering. So here is my take on the Axiom Prada spacesuit. First, here's what you need to know about the new spacesuit. NASA is returning humans to the moon in a few years under its Artemis program. The goal is to eventually have astronauts living and working there full time for things like research and science and technology development. If you wanna learn more about that, particularly why we're going and how it helps life on Earth, I have an entire video about that, which I'll link here. Now, part of going back to the moon, of course, is what are the astronauts going to wear? We can't really use the ones that we had in the Apollo era because, well, technology has evolved a lot over the last 50 years. And the mission is different this time. It's not short excursions to the moon anymore. It's permanently living and working there. So just like we're building new lunar landers, new lunar rovers, and habitats, NASA also needs next generation spacesuits. That's where Axiom and Prada come in. In the last couple of decades, NASA has started to do business in a new way. Instead of designing and building everything themselves, now they partner with commercial industry. This makes things cheaper and drives innovation. So a few years ago, NASA asked a Houston-based company called Axiom Space to design this new spacesuit. You might've heard of Axiom already because they're already sending private missions to the International Space Station. They're also developing their own space station that could replace the ISS when it's retired in 2030. Basically, they're in the business of human spaceflight, so it makes sense that they won this contract. But design and innovation doesn't happen in a bubble and there is no way that one company can have all the expertise they need. And of particular note for this story, a lot of space technologies are inspired by science fiction. And there is a really popular science fiction show right now on Apple TV, you've probably heard of it, For All Mankind, and they have some really cool spacesuits. So Axiom went to their costume designer and asked her to design their spacesuits. And shortly after, Prada heard about that and they wanted in too. This is the suit that they unveiled last week at the largest space conference in the world, the IAC. And it just so happened that the IAC this year was in fashion capital, Milan. So from a marketing perspective, unveiling it in Milan at the IAC was golden. Now the suit has a whole suite of advanced technologies compared to the Apollo suits, like 4G LTE communications and biometric monitoring. It's also resistant to the lunar dust, which literally sticks to everything and is really harmful to astronauts if they inhale it. The suit is also modular, so it can fit a whole different bunch of body types, and it's designed to withstand the extreme temperature conditions on the lunar south pole, which are more intense than where astronauts have walked before. Now all that on the inside is really cool, but on the outside, the suit looks very similar to what we had over 50 years ago. And this begs the question, what did Prada actually do? And I did not come up with this question. Everyone is asking it, not only in person at the conference that we were at, but also everywhere online. So when I got home from Milan this week, I did some digging and I tried to find more information about what Prada did. And what I found is that Prada's contributions were primarily around design, materials, and advanced sewing techniques but the specifics were a bit vague. It could be that Prada's expertise in high-end materials and design and fashion was essential to certain subtle elements of the suit, or it could have been more about the public engagement and branding aspects, which isn't a bad thing either. Everyone is talking about it, and not just in space circles. I mean, marketers and fashion experts are talking about spacesuits on LinkedIn. It's been all over mainstream media, and the physical suit is in the famous Galleria in Milan, so the public can engage with it. People are getting a tangible glimpse into us going back to the moon, which weirdly enough, a lot of people don't know about. So it can be really inspiring. And in fact, I saw this example on Reddit of somebody who was interested in fashion and space, and it was the first time that their two interests were merging together. So I think even if Prada didn't do a whole lot technically compared to Axiom, which honestly is probably the case. Axiom is the prime contractor. Axiom's logo is on the suit, not Prada's. It was a great marketing choice. It got a lot of people talking about something that we don't normally talk about in mainstream news. And it probably inspired a lot of people, especially from non-traditional backgrounds like fashion. I mean, we need people to design and even sew these suits, like spacesuit sewer is an actual career now. And more public engagement is imperative if we wanna continue exploring space and developing innovative technologies. A really great way to do that is by establishing these non-traditional partnerships between space companies and terrestrial companies. 
Axiom is actually doing this with more than just Prada. They're working with Oakley too on the visors of the spacesuit. And one of Axiom's space station competitors, Starlab, they're working with Hilton to make their scientific research space station more homey for the astronauts and also more attractive to space tourists. So I'm really excited to see more brands get involved with space and more public outreach like this. Do I and lots of other people want more technical information? Yeah, I mean, I personally just wanna learn because it's really cool to me. It could also be really interesting to students and I think we as an industry need to do a better job of engaging with the next generation of talent. I also think that releasing a little bit more information about what they did could help decrease the negative stigmas around, oh, it's gonna be really expensive or oh, what did they do? So who knows, maybe they'll see this video and release some more information if you guys ask for it in the comments. Okay, so let me know what you think in the comments about all of this. Do you think it was a innovative partnership or a fashion flop? And I'll be back next week with a recap of October Space News that you might have missed. So stay tuned for giant mechanical arms catching a rocket, alien hunting, and asteroid deflecting. Ciao!